You ever feel like you study for an exam for no reason? And you don't get your ass kicked in the exam because, you know, you didn't study all weekend, get used at work, and, you know, then you went to sleep. And now you've been cramming for the last two days, and, and you realize it doesn't matter. Because all the study guide stuff doesn't matter. Everything's on the test is a lie. And you're going to fail the exam either way. Well, fear not, I have a solution for you. Introducing new Monster Paradise. I just tried one, bro, and it was awesome. Go buy one, man. That's the only thing that keeps me awake at this point. But anyway, <laughs> the subject at hand today, we're going to be talking about Has Kodak Black Disappeared? My two theories. Number one, he didn't disappear. The dude just didn't want to do the concert. He was stressed out from all this beef in the media and stuff lately. And he probably just wanted to roll one and chill. And he's with his boys. He don't, you know, he got that I don't give a fuck attitude. So he didn't tell Atlantic and the people that booked him. And everybody's upset. And people are speculating. And I think that's number one. But the slim 10% chance that the game is a real dude and T.I. a real dude. And they got the connections. Kodak maybe got spooked. Maybe somebody tipped him said he's going to do a shooting. He said he ain't showing up. Or either they might have got the boy. Maybe they got him set up. Maybe they might find him missing. Now, a lot of people saying, oh, Kodak's going to get what he deserves. For everybody that's saying Kodak's going to get what he deserves, remind you, Nipsey also died on April 1st. Or was it March 31st? I'm sorry, I don't remember. But it was at the end of March, in the first or second day of April. I think it was April 2nd. Nipsey died on April 2nd, I believe. And we just killed a man two weeks ago. Why kill another rapper? Why kill another black man, period? Why kill a person, period? Even though he's disrespectful, he disrespects Nipsey short. But it's disrespect. Disrespect would be said on a lot of ways. You could cancel Kodak like you want to. You could say stuff about him. You could even fight him. But killing the man for his words, that's not cool. So all those out there who thinks Kodak should die, um, there's stuff people say every day. I mean, a lot of people don't like Michelle Obama's opinion, what she said about um, having Trump as president is like being with the divorced stepdad. Should all single stepfathers go kill a black woman? Should they go try to threaten Michelle Obama and kill her? Should we go and kill Laura Ingram since she made a remark about Nipsey Hussle and laughed at his song even though he was featured on that song? Um, should we kill Obama? Should we kill Trump? Uh, don't answer that. I know a lot of you guys want Trump to die. The, the, at the end of the day, should we kill your mother? I'm pretty sure your mom said some mess up stuff to somebody at one point. Should we kill your dad? Because, you know, your dad, maybe he's, you know, maybe he's a douchebag. And maybe he hurts some woman's feelings. Should we kill you? I'm pretty sure you made somebody pissed off. I'm pretty sure somebody would like to see you dead. Should we kill you? So next time you ask, should we kill Kodak over words, think to yourself, should I kill myself? Do I deserve to die? Because I'm pretty sure 99.9% of y'all out there have done some fuck shit to someone. So before you say kill Kodak over words, should we kill you? That's all. It's your boy Chef. Sign off once again.